It was, it was a good game against a very good team. I thought we had a good go. I thought we were going to hold on for penalties at 2 2, coming back twice, which was really pleasing, but their quality just shone out in the end. But I was really pleased with the effort that our boys put in. Um, what do you say to the players at half time when it's 0 0 and obviously they're such a big team, you know they've got the, the chance to come back into it? Just keep believing. That was the whole whole thing this week because we've played them twice already in the season, which I've touched on before, and we've given them good games. It's just the belief that we could go one better and beat them. I think they showed, that, especially the first 15 minutes, we showed that belief and then City got on the ball a little bit and we sat off. I just wanted us to be more aggressive and if they go and score a fantastic goal, then so be it. And if we lose by that, I wouldn't care. And I think we did do that and, and we had the right good go. Overall, looking back at, at the season in general, how, how has it been? Obviously, it's been a positive one, but from your perspective, what, what have you enjoyed? I've enjoyed the, the calibre of opposition, the, the tours, the teams we play against, the challenges that the players face. I've enjoyed seeing a few of our boys make their first team appearance and see if we can build on that for next year. There's been loads of positives. As a, as a group, how have you seen the team develop? We've had new faces, some faces have left. What's been the dynamic there? Um, there's been a core group that have stayed and they've probably been the boys that have then gone into the first team towards the end of the season. So they've stayed and you'd like to say we've seen a good over to overturn of players, but I think the quality of players definitely improving, which in turn will then help the team. So I'm looking next pre-season to have you know, as many fit as possible and, and to really work the team and, and get us even better. How much has it helped to have a, a coach like Dean who's willing to, to give the boys in the B team the time of day? I think it's everything. Because if, if there's no light at the end of the tunnel, then they're going to be disillusioned and they're, they're not going to be working as hard. If they can see, which they have seen, some of the boys again making the appearance, they want to be the next one. So it helps my job for the way Dean's doing it and how, how open he is to, to playing the youth players if they're good enough. Yeah, very much so. It's been long. We've just had about 20 meetings then with all the players' individual meetings, but it's been really enjoyable. And it's, yeah, just to, just to see the boys getting in around the first team is, is very pleasing. It gives us that motivation to keep going.